Today we're making toner pixel brushes for our quick tip. Toner brushes are basically a masked texture that is revealed by the brush stroke. So these are the objects we're going to apply some textures to. Earlier I created this pattern in the pixel persona and now we just export it to our desktop as a PNG file because we're going to be using this in the brush engine. We go to new round brush double click on the brush to open up the preferences and under the texture tab we're going to set our texture which allows us to select that PNG we just saved. Once we've brought that into the brush there's a few settings that we can adjust to um, fine-tune this brush. We can scale either to increase or decrease the size of the texture. We can also invert the texture so using the duplicate button at the bottom of the option there we can create several brushes a wide range of brushes from the same texture so let's see how this works when I use the cube first and I've created a pixel layer for each of the right and left sides and I've masked them by dragging them below and to the right I'm going to select my first um, brush here and notice it's masked inside the side of the cube and I just select another brush and select the other pixel layer that corresponds to the left side and there you go we've just quickly textured the cube uh, I created another texture using a less uh, geometric pattern any any texture will do actually and so I can just apply a quick um, curve to this circle to make it almost like an orb and then with this by accessing the, that brush I can actually increase the size of the texture scaling up and adding another layer uh, to the same exact object and I'm going to do the same thing with this mummy cat and we'll see how that goes so I'll just kind of speed through here I'm going to use uh, another layer you can change the blend modes to overlay or screen and I'm just using the same texture brush one more thing before we go uh, you can add layer styles to your layers when you're painting with these brushes for some fun effects here I'm just using a gradient overlay kind of a rainbow and drawing with the brush and then selecting the same brush just sized smaller by scaling the texture and one more adding a 3D effect and a color overlay to make these little red buttons. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give me a like and we'll see you next time.